Yo, yo, guys, my name is Tabo. Welcome to my vlog channel where we all doing travel, lifestyle, and everything. In this video, I'll be talking about dating Thai women. People, five things that people never told you about Thai girls. Of course, this is my perspective of talking to many people who date around Thailand and also what I've experienced. So, this is just an opinion and what I've seen. Yeah? So, I'll give you all the five points and don't miss the last one. You'll be shocked, definitely. And very huge culture shock. So the first one is Thai women don't want casual dating. So this means they don't like to play around a lot. So when you see, most of them just want to date. Uh, not, not necessarily to get married, although obviously that is the case. But they want to be quite serious. So I've, I've, made, I've made a lot of friends, Thai friends, like who also told me the same thing right so they've been telling me that they're so different to western women and also i've also talked to a lot of thai women who like uh, they'd rather be with someone serious why should they waste time and all of that right so they, they actually want you to take an effort because it shows that you you're not playing games so most people who generally come to thailand um what i've seen westerners they are just want to like have fun of course, you, if you want to do that, you can go to the like bar places. But general Thai, I'm talking about traditional, normal Thai woman, she wants you to take responsibility and be um, with her, all right? And just show love. And then the more you show love, she'll, she'll reciprocate it even more. So the second point I also want to say is that they like to include their family in everything that they do so their family is very important for thai women so you'll find that if you start dating them they want they want if the family like the mother doesn't approve of the relationship it usually doesn't um, work out most of the time or it's just like it becomes like sour relationship I have a friend, um, or quite a few friends who've told me the same thing about dating Thai women and they really can't really introduce themselves or they, the woman or the girl doesn't want to do that. But it's simply because the, the, the family wants, they sometimes they think Westerners are just playing games because they just come here or to any, anywhere in Asia they want to play around. But generally here it's like they want to vent out the so-called future husband so it's nothing against anyone i did i was it was this day i was in the states with this thai girl and then we took a trip uh, to Krabi and all of that and when we came back her mother like um, took us from the airport and then she was asking me a lot of questions not just about me like what i like what i'm doing but also just my family background so this is what i wanted to highlight they'll want to know your family background too Okay, um, especially if you're Thai, um, but it generally they, they do want to know your background. So, because they want to see which kind of family you come from. So, that's the second point. The third point Thai women, you need to pay for the first date. Also, this goes to any ordinary date. They, they expect you to pay. Okay, you do get independence, one, obviously. We, the world is changing, but generally, if it's a Thai woman, they'll expect you okay this is just an asian thing they'll expect you to pay so this is why i say if you don't really have the money or you're not like ready to date maybe i'd say try to skip being a thai or asian woman because i feel like yes of course i've been if you check well, one of my videos when i was this i was with the balinese uh, girl i'll put the link here so you probably can see it she, we actually fought um like not literally physical fight we fought she wanted to pay um yeah she said no i want to pay so you do get those um but i mean it's rare so generally most of them they tend to understand that you, the man has to pay for for everything so it's not 50 50. so they would literally just um pay. like even in malaysia it was the same thing i dated this girl so i'm just giving experiences that i've gotten with asian women 
um, I mean, generally I pay for them. Like I never, even if they didn't want me to, like even that they didn't expect it, I just, like I'm a person, I usually just pay for them and stuff like that. But generally, they wait for you. Like they, it's kind of expected. Even the, Mal the Malaysia guy I dated, it was the same thing. He kind of like waited for me because I was doing something and then I was actually, um, I think I went to the toilet and then I had to take out but she was literally always waiting for me to pay some may think this is like bad but generally for me I feel like if why why are you dating if you can't take off the woman but now this is debatable um, some people may say 50 50 it just depends on you for me I don't mind paying for a woman as simple as that as long as she's supportive loving and gives me value that's basically all I want from a woman so that's generally so, but don't come with that mindset, oh, you want 50-50 when you come with these women here, Thai, Asian generally, they'll be like, no. So that's kind of like a red flag to them. So just be careful of that. So another point is like Thai women I've seen is that they generally are very good with English, even though it's like a stereotype that for people it's not, they don't know English. And that's why they obviously, uh, especially like college or the, the women who just come from college they teach a lot of english so they really are very good like the ones i've met they're generally good obviously if they're in high school or maybe they haven't really got an education then that, those ones are um, like that but generally now i've seen they really are good at english even the ones that are selling so in normal shops they really it's normal like for me i'm not struggling to to kind of communicate like it's super easy to communicate with them i've never had a problem whereas if i go to places like for example cambodia it's a bit lower than thai i do struggle with that a little bit but with thai women they generally are very good so that's just know that like um, i would say generally if you go to big cities like bangkok um, chiang Mai, and all of those those are like literally you it's without a doubt you'll see they they, they can talk it's like normal like you're talking a normal conversation with, like as if it's a western woman yeah so obviously they wouldn't know some idioms and all of that so that can be a bit of a tricky one um like that's what i've noticed if they know like a, a lot of english sometimes they don't know the like idioms and like figures of speech and stuff like that so you gotta be, that's another point you gotta be careful when you're trying to be sarcastic and all that because sometimes so the final and last one guys um you don't want to miss this one as i said also guys if you do en enjoy my my video don't forget to smash that like button and so let's move on to the last point so the last point is ready yeah so you might be you might go on a date um with two people meaning that you will be on the date will be three so it will be you her your date and perhaps a friend why would you why would that happen why because generally most of the time they want to be comfortable so especially if they don't know you because you're a foreigner it's like kind of like for them it's normal okay so i'm not what i'm saying is not all of them but generally they want to feel comfortable with the, for them they don't see that as a problem but they see as like they're just a friend who is accompanying them but to you it will seem like is this rude so you need to calm down and let relax you know yeah we it's just a different way of doing things so don't be never be like oh why are they doing this this is how they generally operate then you'll see how the vibe goes even when you're in a date the woman will like generally talk um, sometimes they're there to translate, right? Sometimes they're just helping the other as, as emotional support and also a language barrier sometimes and stuff like that. But I've never gotten a lot of that. It happened to me in Vietnam. I had to call my friend. In fact, I, she, I first did it with my friend to come and um, translate. Um, now and then she is like, should I bring someone for a date? I'm like, if you want like i understood the couch i was in vietnam that was like four years ago and then like yeah it went quite well like generally we dated we still like um contact each other now it's like no you know on social media facebook and stuff like that but you see what i'm trying to say is that you just have to 
don't here is the way things operate in a different way so that's just how it is so don't worry too much about um, how or why are they doing this so that's these are just my tips the big ones all right and yeah and you'll see like generally like if you obviously dating with them if you're thai black or foreigner generally with the thai people will be like looking at you and they'll think oh like it's not culturally acceptable so that's why she feels like she has to be comfortable so if she brings a friend the friend will act as an anchor no. maybe later on she might not be there once she understands or you understand the language or she understands the english language but this is generally how it is so this is my take on thai women and i hope you enjoy the video guys and i hope you don't start for from my perspective of course everyone has a different perspective this is what i've seen and what most people have told me and yeah Hope you enjoyed the video guys and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe I will bring you, bring you more street talk and life and dating everything as I travel around Southeast Asia and generally around the world. See you on my next video guys.